Welcome back, and I want to congratulate you if you did finish the uh, series of 12 lessons on um, black magic on of the of fusion inside of uh da vinci resolve now uh as i promised you there is two more exercises in the appendix uh sections in the book towards the end and one of them was um going back to uh lesson five okay where we did our um we did our key right we keyed with a delta key here our uh, musician here and we left off at this point now one thing that i can see here is that this math we didn't have it here so um uh that's that's the only thing that we didn't have we left it off like this if i remember correctly yes that's how we left it off. uh off. remember where then we added the media out and then we went to the color page and you could also uh color it okay um that way okay perfect so if you followed that episode along uh this is a continuation of that and if you didn't i strongly suggest you uh to go on uh lesson five so you can see how we did first all of that okay because we started off with this okay that's how we started off and then we ended up uh keying the the, uh, the musician here and adding a background okay so once again if you have not seen that lesson i strongly suggest starting with that and then coming back here to this appendix uh one exercise okay we will take it just uh one step further awesome so this is a shorter tutorial on the shorter end and we are going to do what's called the light wrap okay around our uh, uh musician here which is basically just adding uh a uh towards the edge of our character a little bit almost like a reflection coming from the background right almost like this sun rays uh affecting a little bit here the edges and of our uh musician here okay so let's get started so um first thing i'm gonna do is actually to uh like always uh make some space here so uh let's quickly zoom out a little bit so let's go like that uh also if you're wondering how uh, now how things are snapping to grid i think i showed in one tutorial but in case you forgot you can right click here you go on arrange tools and then you uh check this to grid if you uncheck it like right now see it's free floating okay so once again right click arrange tools to grid and now see it's snapping to our grid here okay so let's get started so um as i said one more time go back to lesson five if you haven't seen it uh and you'll understand how we come up with this uh tree node here okay awesome so first thing just like when i started tutorial you remember i had that mat around here uh last time i forgot to do a little bit of organization here so what we will do is we're gonna create an underlay which if you watch the previous tutorials you're familiar with and which is basically like we group together uh, a few specific nodes okay so in this case i want to group in the delta here the um the garbage mat and the holdout mat here so basically i can just do that uh highlight the three of them and then uh shift spacebar I don't know why it's back. there we go so once again you press shift spacebar that comes up and then you type underlay here enter and your underlay is added right so that's something that we are familiar with from the previous uh episodes that we've done in the past okay so awesome so now that we did that we can also um uh, rename it so uh, option click and then f2 then we can name it to uh mats okay so let's call it mats and then we can also change color so uh, right click set color we're gonna make it orange so that's what i had when i first opened up the tutorial a few minutes ago okay so that's the only thing i had okay awesome so now how do we add the light wrap around our character here all right so what we're gonna do now it's I'm going to go down here. Okay. So this is our tree node here. I'm going to go down here and I am going to uh, shift spacebar and we're going to add another underlay and we are going to um, F2 rename this to um, let's call it, uh, you know, originally enough light, <laughs> um, light wrap. Okay like that and then we can also change the color right so set of color uh, something that you don't have to do same colors i'm doing something that uh, pops out something that tells you okay uh, i know where these things are so for me in this case i'm just going to make it blue here okay it's pretty nice and then we're going to add it here now follow along with the steps and we will add the light wrap just with a few notes okay very soon very easily 
All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add a math control. If you remember previous lessons, we've, uh, we've used that. First time used it was in lesson three. If you don't remember, go back lesson three and you will watch how we use uh, 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 how we use them, okay? So how we use math controls. So uh, we take our math control, we have it also here, and let me drag it here. And that's math control one, and I am going to uh, add another one, okay? So now we're gonna take the output of our delta here and add it to the input on our math control. And we're going to do that again. Uh, so output delta here to the input of the math control. Uh, let's also now uh, connect these two nodes um, to each other, okay? And uh, let's change a few parameters here so on my mat control i am going to um blur this to about i would say three percent uh okay so three uh and then on my mat control i am going to change the combine to combine alpha and then i am going to change the uh combine up op operation here to subtract okay and a few things are going to happen you're going to see just in a few moments okay so now that we did that also let's move now see the color correct uh it's the, the the color correction here it's basically uh linking our um foreground here to our background through this node but what i'm going to do now is to actually um uh disconnect that okay that's because i am going now to add a merge node okay to our um to um to our uh light wrap here uh so we're gonna bring in a merge node okay and we're going to connect actually the color corrector right that we had previously to our uh merge okay so uh you take the output and connect it to the uh, input of our merge too and also let me connect the mat control now to the um effect mask of our merge too all right so now that we did that we obviously now if if we look at the uh, the media out, right? We don't see anything. And and that's because we only see the background. And that's because we don't have any connections yet, right? And that's what we need to do next. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my background. Actually, let's move it down here. So we're a little bit more organized. And we are going to connect it to our merge too. But before we do that, I am going to add also a blur, okay, to the um, to this connection. So now let's look at this uh, the the image here. So we can see that's that's all we can see so far, and. Um, this is our um, the, the two mat controls that we added. So um, what I'm going to do is to now take a. Um, I can also show you here the background. That's what we can see. Uh, I'm going to add a blur node. Okay. Um, because I'm adding a blur node because once we do the light wrap, it's it's going to be just hard edges if I don't add a blur node. And when lighting actually comes from a background or kind of reflects on surfaces, it's not like as harsh. It should be something that is not uh, uh, that harsh, right? So uh, we are going to add that to our blur here. And then we are going to connect our blur to my merge, okay? So we have something like that now and uh, i'm going to change the blur here to uh its, its size to about 10 okay uh just to to really blur blur that out a lot and we should have now something like this when it comes to our uh connections so now we have connected our background right it's um to our blur's input and our blur right it's now connected to the foreground of our merge but now we need also to connect our merge two that we just created on this new underlay to our original merge one okay which was previously merging our foreground and background i know this is a mouthful but it makes sense once you're really uh, doing this as you understand as you go through. So basically what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take the merge two, okay? The output of merge two to our merge one, okay? So that goes into our uh, uh, foreground of our merge one. And now um, if, if we look at the uh, media out here, we do have our character. We can see that, okay? And something also has happened here, okay? It's not the same character we had previously, okay? something uh different has happened because we did add our light wrap around our subject you can see that if i zoom in okay we have almost this sort of effect you see it it's like this kind of um uh reflection to a character now it is kind of not that sharp because remember i was talking about that blurt i wanted to add to make it a little softer on the on the edges here now look look what happens if i take my blur from 10 here to about one okay look Look here, 
Okay, so uh, little subtleties like that. So look here right now. So that's one, and then we take it to 10. You see, like we are adjusting a little bit of that. Now, that is very subtle, but what's major about how that's going to change if it's, we go back to our math controls? Um, so if I go back on my math control one, which I also added a 3% blur, and I take this down. So look, look at a character. Look how much is changing, okay? Now, the more you play with your blur, the more the light is gonna wrap around our subject here to create something more like that, which would make sense because well, as I said, the, the, the background's reflection of character, it's not like hard edges. It should be something that is a little bit more um, uh, kind of blurry, okay? So that's why we really increasing the blur amount. So you can see that before, and after, right? So we can wrap the light around him very nicely and gently, okay? So it creates this almost like uh, effect on him. You can see that. And uh, so for my case, I'm just gonna keep it to three because it's like a good amount, uh, but you can also go back on our matte control too, okay? And then also here, you can see that this is the inside blur here. And by playing with that as well, okay? we can kind of manage and control how the light wraps around our subject. Okay, so these are the steps to create a simple light wrap, okay, in uh, on our subject. Once again, look, look at the character, zero, and then we add even more, you know? You can even go further beyond and take it to 20 if you wanted to look how much that is, okay? So you can do that as well. Uh, and and basically by adjusting the blur, now you have the, this flexibility to say, hey, you know, I want this much uh, light wrapped around my subject. Okay, so this was the tutorial, uh, the appendix on how to add a light wrap. It's very easy. Uh, it was just a few notes, a few steps. Uh, so make sure to uh, really um, uh, stop this video if there's something that you did understand. Otherwise, you can always post questions on the comment section and ask me directly and I'll make sure to respond to all of them. Okay, so um, thank you for watching, getting this far. We, I will have another appendix, appendix number two, coming up the following week, in which I'm going to show you how to create the fast noise for um, our, um, uh, it was lesson 11, yes, lesson 11 where we did the particles and then um, we used um, uh, uh, the fast noise, right? Uh, we used uh, a texture, right, that then, um, we can create entirely on fusion but that's for the next episode for the next appendix number two and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you on the next one thank you